Hello, my first graders. Today we are working on, on lesson 9.3. That's page 525 in our math book. Okay, if you could find page 525, I'm gonna go over um, our lesson with you. Okay, so pause if you need to find page 525. All right, so my first graders, today we're not gonna use our book all that much, okay? We're gonna use it a little bit because we don't have everything that we need to do the activity. So I'm gonna go over some things with you so that you understand um, what we're trying to, what I'm trying to teach you in this lesson. So in the past lessons, right, we were ordering things, we were talking about measurement, ordering things from, from longest to smallest to shortest, right? Or from shortest to longest. Today, we're gonna to talk about measuring. Okay, what do you think of when we say measure, right? What's the first thing that pops in your mind? It might be longest to shortest. When you go to measure something, what do you usually use to measure something? Yeah, you might use a ruler or a measuring tape, okay, to, to find out how big or small something is, right? So for me, I would usually use a, I like using a ruler. I have a measuring tape and I use that too when it's something bigger, but I usually use a ruler. Now, if you had a ruler at home, your ruler and my ruler, even though it might be a different color, yours might be bigger or smaller, rulers is something called a standard measurement where everything's the same. Your ruler and my ruler would be exactly the same. So we would get the same number if we were to measure the same object, okay? But today, instead of talking about things that are standard, like a ruler, something we usually use to measure, we're gonna talk about something called non-standard, okay? Non-standard is when we use objects to measure something, okay? But the thing about non-standard is that when we're using something to measure, everything we use has to be the same. Now, people don't, don't use non-standard measurement usually when they measure because your answer is gonna be a little bit different, right? If I use my hand to measure something, right? And I said, how many hands long is my book? And I went across and I did one, two, three, four four of my hands, but your hands might be smaller than my hands, or maybe they're bigger than my hands. So it might be a different amount of hands for you to measure. So non-standard non is not a normal way that we measure, but it's just to get us practicing and thinking about measurement. So in here, again, you're not going to be able to do a lot in here. We're going to do some work I have work on the computer for you to do in a slides activity, but I want you to look at, at what I'm doing in front of you, okay? So it says, uh, Jimmy sees his boat is about six color tiles long. Draw Jimmy's boat. Draw the color tiles to show how you measured. So his boat is about six color tiles long. Now, I don't even have six of these. So we're gonna change this a little bit. I'm gonna say that Jimmy's boat is three color tiles long. So here's my tiles. If I wanna draw his boat, I have to take my color tiles. I need to put them right next to each other. And these aren't great. So I'm gonna put them, so here's one, two, three. How many did I say three color tiles long? Okay, that is how I would show how long his boat is. I can't do it like this, okay? When you're measuring something, there's never a gap in between. You don't put gaps in between. You always have them, the objects right next to each other. Just like if you were using a ruler where things go right in a row, okay? There's no gaps, okay? So that's how big his boat is. Now, if I was to draw his boat, and I said it's three color tiles long. I need a starting point. So I'm gonna put my starting point here and actually I'm gonna realign that. There's my starting point. We always do a starting line. I put my tiles right up next to that starting line. And look, one, two, three tiles right next to each other. At the end of my last tile is where I'm gonna put my last line. So I know my boat that I'm making for Jimmy needs to be this long. I can't make it longer than this because I said three tiles long. So 
So here's, I'm gonna make his quick boat. Boop. And you guys do not need to do this because guess what? You don't have these color tiles at home to do the activity. So you're just watching as we go. All right, it would be three tiles long. Here we go, I'm gonna make his little boat, okay? So that is how we measure three tiles long. So we can use that in many different ways. So we have three color tiles long, okay? Now, you don't have tiles at home, right? You have other objects at home that we can use. So I wanna give you some examples of things that you can do, okay? On our next page, the whole time they're asking us to use tiles to measure. You don't have tiles at home. They don't want us to actually measure these objects. They really want us to take and measure objects that are um, that are in real life. Now, I know you don't have all these things at your home, okay? Maybe you do, but not everybody does, okay? But you can measure other things like um, a toy that you have or something like a can that's in your kitchen. You can measure anything that you have. And we can use, instead of using squares to have fun with this, you can use other objects. So I wanna give you an example, okay? So I wanna see how long my pen is. I don't have enough of these, okay? I'm very limited to how many I have. So instead, you know what I do have? I have mini marshmallows, okay? So let me show you, let me put a yellow paper behind it so you can see. Here's my pen. If I wanna see how many mini marshmallows long it is, right, and the mini marshmallows, notice they're about the same length. Remember my tiles? When you're measuring using something, even though it's non-standard, the objects that you use to put, to line up, have to be about the same. So my mini marshmallows are about the same. So I'm gonna start at the end of the pen, try to line it up to the end of my pen, and I'm gonna put them. Now, can I space them out like this to measure? No, right? Remember I said no spacing them out. We have to put them close together and they're gonna roll a little bit, okay? So I'm putting them right next to each other. Look at that. Do I stop there? No, I keep going because it has to be the whole length of my pen. So here we go. It goes about the end. Now it's not gonna be perfect. Okay, but now I can count them and see about how many mini marshmallows long. And we say about because it's not gonna end always perfectly. So it's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About ten mini marshmallows long. I think I should get to eat them now, right? Hmm. All right. So I could use mini marshmallows. Now maybe mini marshmallows is not something you have at your house. Maybe you have something else. Maybe you have cereal, okay? Now, if you have cereal with marshmallows in it, right, you might not wanna use them. You want the cereal to be about the same. I have these, these are Apple Jacks. So I can measure something. So maybe I don't wanna measure my pen. Maybe I'm gonna use my Apple Jacks to measure my Post-it. See how many, about how many Apple Jacks long it is. So I'm gonna line it up again to the edge, right? And I put them right next to each other. I wouldn't put any marshmallows in it because I want these to be about the same size as I'm measuring, right? And I keep lining them up. Remember, they should be touching each other. And it stops about there. So about how many Apple Jacks long is my post-it? Well, I can count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mmm, another yummy snack. So my post-it is about six Apple Jacks long, okay? So maybe you have them. Maybe you don't have those in your house, right? So you wanna look through. I have little, I have gum I can measure. Look, my gum's about the same size. So as long as I line them up, right? And it might, it's not gonna be exact, cause look, I line it up and look. It's my, they go a little bit too long, right? But that's okay. It's about four pieces of gum long. Now, hmm, I'm gonna try something else. And I wanna see if you can tell me what I'm doing wrong. Here's my pennies. I'm using coins to measure. Hmm. What do you see is wrong about what I did right there to measure? Look at what I did, remember. What did I say about what you're using? 
Yeah, that I put a queen in there that's different. That one doesn't work, it's too big. It needs to be the same size, right? Here, this one's the same. So now I've got it. So it's about, about four pennies long. All my queens, if I use queens, they have to be the same. So boys and girls, I want you to have a little bit of fun using something in your house. Find something that you can use to measure with. Maybe it's mini marshmallows. Maybe it's cereal that you have, okay? Look for anything that you have a bunch of that is the same size. Maybe you even have matchbox cars if you're measuring something big that you wanna use. Okay, as long as it's the same size, you can do that. So in a few minutes, okay, I'm gonna let you go and measure those, those things in your house and have a little fun with that. But before you do that, actually, you know what? Let's pause. Go have some fun measuring and come back when you're ready to finish this lesson. All right, my first graders, if you're back with me, that means you had you took a little bit of time. You had fun measuring things in your house using things. Maybe you, I'm curious to see what you use to measure with. Um, all right, so again, we're skipping most of the stuff in here, right? Because we can't do it. But I am gonna show you some of these activities. There's a few that we can do for practice, right? And I can model for you. Let's look at our math on the spot, okay? The green yarn is about two squares long. About how long is the blue yarn? So we don't have enough squares to put them all the way across, which is okay, because that's what they want. So they're telling us this is about two. Look at that blue line. It's going to be bigger, isn't it, right? It's gonna be longer than two. So let's just think about this. If this is where two, can do you think we can do two more? Right, if this is about two, can we do put two more cubes out? Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these and put these over here. Can we do more? Yeah, because our line stops here. So I'm gonna put a little line here where my two stop. What do you think, could I put two more? Yeah, just about, right, almost. So in each side, we had two and then two. Now this has two more. So about how long would it be? Well, let's see, two plus two is, two plus two is four plus two more. So four, five, six. So the blue line is about six squares long. They didn't mean for us to take these squares and line them all the way across the bottom. They just wanted us to see that each time, right, it got, that it was more. We took that green line and we could have made that green line another time and another time. So it was two more and then two more. All right, my first graders. All right. Solve, okay. Mark measures a real glue stick with squares. Okay. About how long is a glue stick? Circle the answer that is the most reasonable. So they just want us to think about it. They don't want us to take a glue stick and actually measure it. They want us to think about the squares. So the first one says about one. So let's just picture a glue stick in our mind. Do you think a glue stick is this big? Look at it compared to the size of my finger, right? No, right? That's kind of too small. So we know it can't be about one. That's too small. Hmm. Now we have about four of these. So let's picture these. Do you think four of them? So they want us to just picture it. Four of these. So here's one, two, three, four. So maybe about like that big, right? Does that seem like the size of a big glue stick? Maybe. How about 10? 10. What if I use 10 of these? Is that going to be, think about that. Is that going to be, that's going to be way too big, isn't it? So about 10 is too big. So that leaves us with about four. It's the only one that could work. 10 of these would be the size, would be about the size of my book or your book. That's way too big, isn't it? Have you ever seen a glue stick the size of our book? 
No, right? Way too many. So they want us to just picture it and think, well, four would probably be the only one that would work. Let's look at this one. Bow has four ribbons. Circle the ribbon that is less than three squares long, but more than one square long. So here's our square. It needs to be less than three, but more than one. Okay, so let's see, less than three. How about this one? Do you think this is less than three squares? What do you think? Here's that one. Hmm, probably not, right? That looks like it's too long. So that one didn't work. So no, not that one. Hmm, look at this one. Is this less than three? Probably, right? So that could work. How about this one? Is this less than three? Yep, less than three. Yeah, but look at our other clue. But more than one square. Is this green bigger than one square? More than one square? No, too small. Green's too small. How about this yellow? Is that yellow more than one square long? Look at where it stops. It stops right here. Nope, too small, right? It's smaller than a square. So not that one. So it leaves the red one. Is the red longer than one square? It is. So the red is the only one that works. All right. The last one. The crown is about four tiles long and draw the tiles below the crown to show its length. So boys and girls, we are not going to do this one. Okay, we're gonna cross that off. So my first graders, I hope you had fun exploring using items around your house to measure. We're gonna do a little bit of using squares, right? Just like this on the computer where we can line them up and measure different objects and see about how many squares items are. Just like they wanted us to do here, but we're gonna do it on the computer instead.